Hey everyone, I'm Lucky, and uh, this is my boss killer. So I was one of the first people to reach level 100 on Rogue, and uh, and I've been using a lot of my time now to focus on boss killing, and I get asked a lot what my build is for, you know, killing the boss in my attempts for Uber Lilith. So uh, I wanted to get this guide out there and show you guys kind of what stats and gear and aspects I'm prioritizing in order to take down this fight. So uh, even if you're not playing a rogue, I think a lot of this information is important for you for your build so you can kind of tell what to target and what you want to do uh, for your attempts at this fight. And I wish you all, uh, you know, the best of luck. I hope this video is helpful for you. So I'm going to go over the gear, which aspects I'm using, the skills, uh, you know which skills I've decided to use. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the Paragon board and specifically the uh, glyphs that I'm using in that board and why I've chosen to use them. So uh, I'll just start off with the skill tree here, so you can kind of get a sense when I when I show you the gear of why I've chosen what I've chosen. Puncture is gonna be my resource generator and an application of vulnerable. Our main DPS is gonna be applied through twisting blades and poison imbuement. So we're going to have those up constantly. Here we've got some, you know, defensive aspects. Siphoning Strike is really important for this build if you're on Rogue. But if you're on another build, some source of uh, life sustain uh, is going to be important. Uh, here we have Weapon Mastery for more damage. Dash to get around the fight, avoid damage when, when possible. Dark Shroud, this is sort of a defensive aspect that's also giving us damage uh, through countering Dark Shroud with some extra critical strike. Poison Trap, this one's going to be important. We've got a chance to reset our imbuement here, and we have a lot of damage when you know a trap is up or when someone is poisoned. So this is really, really good to, uh, to uh, exponentially increase our damage. Here's our Poison Imbuement with Blend and Poison Imbuement uh, you know, Enhancement. Here we've got some, some poison masteries that we've decided to spec into. Trap mastery, this is going to be combined with our poison trap. And then, uh, you know, some additional passives here that you can see. Uh, momentum, it's important to try to attack from behind uh, with the mo momentum aspect. So you can use like shadow strike if you like, or just try to hit the boss from behind. Uh, so those are our skill trees. Here is some of the gear. On the helm, we've prioritized poison imbuement so we can get more damage. Uh, this aspect, I don't think it's really you know, entirely necessary for the build, but it's kind of just a nice to have every once in a while. The bubble pops up, gives you some safety. Disobedience, great defensive aspect just in general. Uh, this combined with some of the other aspects we're using are really all we need for defensive aspects in order to not take damage from basically the majority of the fight. The only thing that gets us is that, you know, the one shot spikes that, that show up and those are kind of unavoidable. And I think they one shot most classes, Rogue especially, uh, just a little... A little weak there. So uh, here we have an imprint of 25% damage when a barrier is active. Thanks to our pants, we are going to have a barrier active for the entirety of the fight. Basically, every time we heal, we get a barrier on top of our maximum life. We are constantly healing with Siphoning Strike with the ability on the pants as well, the, the lucky hit to, to restore life. Uh, we are always going to have a barrier up. It's basically always going to be maxed around a, a 6,000 barrier on top of our life pool. So that's really great for survivability. Uh, Ravagers, this is great if you're using Shadow Step. I'm not, so I could replace it. I think I might want to put Might somewhere in the build, maybe on the helm or where, boots, wherever I can fit it uh, for some extra damage reduction, but I'm still working through things. So this this is an important one uh, for your twisting blades. Obviously, you need to have blade dancers, and I like it in this spot. It gives me the most damage. Uh, here we have Ashiras for increased attack speed. And here is uh, the accelerating aspect, which is uh, nice to get the attack speed up. This helps our resource generation and our twisting blades, uh, you know, when our uh, inner sight is up. So inner sight is the specialization we're using. I'll get to that in a bit. Very, very important. Bursting Venoms. Uh, the damage on the Bursting Venoms, not as important. The important part is uh, that when the Bursting Venoms is active, you will get a pool under you where you can constantly re-spam Poison Imbuement, and this is how we're going to get our damage up really high. Because if you think about it, then every time we attack, we're applying our Poison Imbuement, and it is exponentially adding on and adding to that tick damage, which is how we get upwards of you know 2 million plus damage per second just from our poison tick. Corruption is also very important for this build specifically because it's going to increase our effectiveness of our imbuement. And then uh, Blast Trapper, this is just another way to apply, uh, you know, vulnerable to enemies, which helps increase our damage exponentially 
uh, we'll get into the sort of advanced stats here. I'll just go through them really quickly if you guys want to see sort of what stats I prioritize and what you can prioritize on your build. <clears throat> critical strike, huge for damage, critical strike damage. I'm not going to go into an advanced calculation on how damage is calculated in Diablo 4. Uh, plenty of other videos exist on that, and I don't think uh, now is the time or place to do that, but you can just kind of see, you know, what I focused on. All right. Again, specialization is intersight. This is going to give us our full resource, so we're going to be able to spam twisting blades over and over and over again. And then our paragon board. Very, very important, the Paragon board. So I'm going to go through it right from the start so you guys can kind of see. I'll hover over some of the rare nodes that I've decided to choose and go over the glyphs. Uh, closer, huge cutthroat damage. This is basically your main skill damage. So we want to get as much damage as possible because thanks to our pants and the barrier, we're really not taking much damage from anywhere else in the fight. So we want to get our damage up as high as possible. Here we have exploit. This is another source of vulnerable and huge vulnerable damage. Some of the rare nodes that we've picked up along the way. Get the one down here as well. Here we go into our third board and we get spearhead damage against healthy enemies. This is going to make the beginning of the fight a breeze. Uh, glyph socket here is combat. This is again additional damage, which is great. We get some uh, resource genera generation out of it as well. Damage reduction, here is some more damage that we get along the way. Some survivability. Damage to elites. Turf, this is more damage to close, and we also get some survivability on it. My glyphs are only level 15 right now. They could go up to 20, but uh, for the purposes of this, I think 15 is a minimum. And uh, I do want to get them to 20 eventually, but uh, we haven't done that yet. So the last and not least, uh, a very important glyph is tracker for this build specifically this is going to increase your poison damage significantly as you can see 73 percent uh to poisoned you know enemies i think if i get this to 20 it's you know upwards of 90 plus percent extra damage uh to poisoned enemies which they're almost always going to be especially when we're going off on our our dps you know spam uh this is going to really be a huge source of damage and then some damage to elites so those are paragons the way the build works is we're going to go into the fight immediately drop our trap remember it's important for the trap to be active we see immediately vulnerable is active i get my imbuement skill up and i'm constantly spamming with inner sight the uh twisting blades plus with plus a active poison imbue so i get the lucky hits quite often as you can see it's procced again and we are just going off on our damage. The tick damage is, is getting into the insane numbers that we've already phased the boss here. So this is just kind of the ridiculous damage output that this, that this build can have. Again, because it's a rogue and because the damage is so significant in this fight, you're gonna get one shot if you get hit. So that's an example of, you know, just getting one shot in the fight. Uh, you could try to build to, to, to avoid getting one shot by that move. But I find it best to just avoid it. I, I think you sacrifice too much if you if you go that route. Uh, if you know we're having trouble with the fight, maybe that's an option that we can do in the future. But uh, this is you know what we have decided to use to to beat the fight. So um, I eventually want to be able to get to the point where I can carry our any you know anyone that's subscribed to the channel or uh, following on Twitch, you know, we'll do events where we, you know, I, I carry another person so you guys can all get the mount, uh, but we're not strong enough to do that yet. We're working towards it. So uh, if you have any ideas for how to improve the build further, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. You know, I, I'm just one person. This is what I've come up with uh, so far for the fight. And, and you can see, you know, some of the crazy damage that we've been able to output. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to think. Uh, if you have any suggestions for the build, please let me know. Or if you have any questions on anything that I've, uh, you know, explained so far, uh, I'd be happy to answer whatever I can in the comments below or, uh, or live. Catch me live on Twitch and, uh, and I can answer there. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, good luck with your fights and, uh, and I'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Peace.